Hey guys, it is me here, Nathan here with a brand new video. And you can kind of see myself in the background here. And yes, I have bright light. Yay! I don't know what I'm doing. And today is quite obvious. We are viewing Transformers Studio Series Rampage. So, since I have the packaging, let's take a quick look at the packaging. Let's set him off to the side. <laughs> And he is Studio Series Decepticon Rampage, Construction, number 37, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. There's the background, I just still have the plastic in there. Tra Transformers, Generations, Takara Tommy. Um, nice picture of Devastator on the side with the Devastator logo. Then back here at the box, 22 steps, robot mode, vehicle mode. Optimus Prime, and him in the background. One thing I'm gonna tell you, these spots right here, they are supposed to be black, but they're gray. The spot in there are supposed to be black, but it's like an orange, the same color as this. <sighs> that joint right there, which is on the back, is supposed to be black, but it's gray. I think this was a, like a prototype of the toy. So, uh, oh yeah, also this piece down here is supposed to be orange. Not gray. Well, I I see why they uh, did that. Kind of matching this. So, it probably was a prototype. I don't know. It's nice packaging. We're not going to um, throw it or anything as MGO usually does. I'm going to set it here behind the tree. Christmas tree, guys. We got a small Christmas tree. Don't have any ornaments for it yet. But here is Rampage himself. Looking nice. Looking nice. That's nice. Or spark cranberry. <laughs> I'm sorry I did that. But here he is in his vehicle mode. Sorry. Um, and it looks nice. There is quite a bit of robot cable sticking out here. His his hands, quite obviously his lower section, his foot. I guess like he only has one leg, so it's rampage. No, we don't really expect much. And there's his head. Head syndrome. Yes. If you're one of those people, don't knock head syndrome. Don't bother this figure. But it rolls. Wait. All the wheels there? Oh, it rolls as it should roll. And size comparison time. <clears throat> I only have one thing. And that is this guy from. I think our last video. There he is. It's actually. Yeah, we'll move the box over here. There he is. Next to I call Tanker. Looks nice. Uh, about the same. By the way, I don't have Ultra Magnus left down my grandma and grandpa's. While well, I was down there, let's bring this back in and set it there. <clears throat> so, let's get this down into robot mode. First, combined mode, then vehicle mode, then robot mode. So what you want to do first is come down here and actually take this piece out, which there are two tab, two slots. We'll just tab into a tab here. And here make sure this is folded in and facing this way then we're of course going to push this up very easy to push back down just showing you that and then come around to here and just oh wait now first take this section and swing these down and bring these down like that then from here <clears throat> bring this open rotate this around see his head just push it down and move it out of the way and kind of angle this and also these sections right here fold down then angle this section back and out of the way I'll show you what to do after this I will after well I'll show you what to do when we get these in there. <clears throat> and then from here what you want to do is bring these up one tab take this section untab it and this entire thing needs to rotate Oh wait no, flip it around to make this easier. We're basically in robot mode. Um, make sure this is up. Bring all this around. There's a hin um some type of hinge in there. And this will go around and stay like that. Then bring this around. It's kinda tricky. Gotta make sure everything's smooth in there. There we go. Make sure this is back down, just fold everything back in. And make sure that's flat like that. Then, well, actually, I'll leave that. 
Come around to the other side and do the same thing. Get used to it. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's my sister. Once you get used to it, it'll be much easier. Don't know why I stopped that brat accent, but okay. We can work with it. Go ahead and... Thank you. Bring these in, like so. There's a slot. There's a slip here. I mean, a slot here and a tab here, technically. Just slip it over. Make sure these are pushed up all the way. There you go. Come around here. Bring these down. Bring this up. Basically, just strain this out again. And um, what I was thinking is I'm not going to put this thing back into vehicle mode. We'll go straight into robot mode. But in another video, I will show you um, how to get them from vehicle to robot. But that will be in another video when I show you how to transform this guy into his robot in vehicle mode. Because, well, some of you guys don't own that. Like, make, if you buy them used and they call, don't come with their instructions. Also, I forgot. Push up his head. And they don't come with instructions, then, well, you need something to show you. I'll do it. Um, and, oh, wait, not that. Bring this down. And bring this section up. And there you have him in his foot mode for Devastator. Now do you stop? And that's pretty nice besides, there's this visible. But I'm guessing when, um, when you get, can't remember his name. I don't know. The the torso section down here, which I'm going to be buying long haul suit too. It's great. Um, articulation if you had them, you could pivot that joint once to each side. Very tight ratchets. You could tip this back and kind of extend it out, giving him a longer leg. If you wanted to, you could do that. Probably like to the position that he's Nah, that's not in here. Never mind. I thought I had it. Oh, I thought I whoa Christmas tree. Oh Christmas tree. Oh Christmas tree. Okay, let's get him into his. Actually, no, not robot mode. I'm gonna show you how to store this in here, and it, I think it makes it look a little better. Wouldn't recommend it if you're one of those guys who. And if you're one of those guys who. If you're one of those guys who kind of who really likes it more show accurate, don't put this in. Either lay it off the side or put it in the box. I don't know. So to store it, it's your preference. To store it, bring these fingers around. Untab these. It's all gunky in there for some reason. I barely use this. I just, I've been having them in the shelf. And just tab it into the same tabs that are in there. Close it back up. And bring these upwards. Oh yeah, push these down. And I think this also covers the face a lot more. Then bring these down and around. And there you have his weapon stored, which actually I prefer it stored. But when I think I'm going to put it in its regular mode, the way it's intended. And if you want the leg to pivot a little more, bring these sections off. Oh wait, no. Kind of angle it up a little more. <laughs> you could do this. Bam. Um, that's that's when he has to go to the uh, robot doctor. But let's go ahead and get him to robot mode. Mine not. Let's go ahead and pop these off. Which hmm. still get robot mode. We'll go ahead and bring this down. Pop this section out. Uh, where did I put it? Oh yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Bring the these around. Untab these. Take this out. Flip out its other foot. Set it off to the side. Go ahead, straighten this out. Like so. And untab his arms. Bring these sections up and these down. Ring open that. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Here we bring in the stand. And there's a hole in down here and a slot down here. There are grooves in the side for some reason. Maybe, maybe, um, something goes, something, maybe this combines, I mean, like, you can set it 
in the devastator mode when he combines so probably i think that's what it's for go ahead bring this up bring this entire section around just rotate <clears throat> this entire section back so it's a little form there's a very easy tablet right here there's a tab that'll tab into that slot right there make sure that happens i mean tabs in there's the also slot in here which this will tab into there's a configuration where you can have this inside in the vehicle mode, but I hate that. And um, then angle this from here to here. And bring this entire section down to kind of hide it. And go ahead and do what you want here. Now we'll come around here and bring out his other finger. And go ahead and just stand that up. We'll go ahead and do the other one. Go. Everything's good and solid. Angle these in if you want. Don't care. It's your figure. Oh, um, I don't put these on. I usually actually keep them on the side just for the sake of the video. This way. Yes. Put these. There's tabs in his hand right there. I mean slots. And these tabs just easily slip it in there. That's his gun. In his hand, you can do it on the other side, but I don't like doing that just because of how easy they can get lost. Now, let's go ahead and just set this back in. Set, tab these back in. I can't talk to the light. Blah, blah, blah. And there you go. You have Rampage in his robot mode. I'm going to rotate him around. Show you guys. I'm going to try to get turntable to be able to do it. Oh. And actually, just because I can, here's the size next to his box. Um, one thing I'm going to show, tell you, you can either have his head up like this, or angle it down more, show accurate, and articulation, you have a ball joint on the head, I'm sorry Jobby the Hong, but I'm going to take it, every ball joint can be a swivel, and then, if you come around to down here, there's this weird side to side pivoting available here, so you can get, get, him, get him staring into your soul. He can look uh, up, oh, oh uh, yeah, up that far where you pop off his head. Um, well, while we have the head off, let's take a look at the head sculpt. Why not? Looks nice. This reminds me of, I, I don't know who it is, but I'll pop it up right now. That's who it reminds me of so much, the head sculpt. I don't know why, but it's a nice orange, too. I like that orange color. To the camera, it's much brighter. But it's actually much of a duller color. Much different color. And then articulation. You can look down this far. Let's go ahead and just leave it. And then articulation down here. He has a tight, 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 tight waist rotation. He can bend his uh, knee that far. Bend his toe, I call it that far. Bend, bring this entire section up that far. Yes, he has a crutch. He can crutch. And then here he has a swivel, a hinge, a swivel, a butterfly joint, which doesn't ruin the mold at all. I mean, the uh, figure at all. When it does, when it does uh, get that right there, you can, each tread joint has a joint here, a joint here, and a joint here, which then you can give him a nice whipping type look. Or just keep them curled up. Then come down to here. He has a joint here. A joint here, but that's other reasons. A nice little two finger joint here and here. And a joint there and joint here. And that is it. I actually would size comparison to him with this guy, but I'm too lazy to transform him. We'll do that when we do a video of how to turn configurate him other ways and how to put this guy back in vehicle mode. So I'm off to side again. But that is it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video of Rampage. And the next video will be Optim Bumblebee Optimus Prime. Bumblebee movie. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Merry Christmas.